various industries have been impacted by the pandemic in different ways. The biggest example shows up in the form of shortages. People going to grocery stores are finding bare shelves, it can be difficult to find plastics for things like coffee lids, and for us gearheads, many of our favorite brands have experienced difficulty finding the necessary chips to produce some of our most wanted rides. This issue has also impacted car lots. It has led to empty showrooms, less than interested potential customers, and an overall feeling of doom surrounding the industry. What this means is, not only is the auto industry not able to sell the cars they plan to, but it means people either have to settle for something else or wait for things to improve in factories where the needed chips are made. Many people are getting anxious about the thought of buying a new car due to this shortage. To make this process easier, we put together a list of three cars whose production has not been interrupted due to the chip shortage. It should be noted that some regions may have shortages of these vehicles as well. Also, their inclusion on this list does not ensure that these cars are always the easiest to find. It simply means that, on average, these cars have more availability on car lots and in showrooms. Why is there still a chip shortage for cars? The chip shortage is still impacting the automotive industry in 2022, though the good news is this problem is expected to get better as the year goes on. Automakers large and small are still being affected by an acute lack of semiconductors, tiny components that are absolutely necessary, even in the most basic cars and trucks. Everything from advanced driver assistance features to infotainment systems to heated steering wheels is powered by some sort of computer chip, and that's only going to accelerate in the future as vehicles get more and more complex. Toyota continues to face shortages that will affect manufacturing. Our teams are working diligently to minimize the impact on production. In North America, we are projecting a reduction of approximately 25,000 to 30,000 vehicles in February, the automaker told Roadshow. The good news is, that Toyota does not anticipate these shortfalls will impact employment. GM has similar challenges. Late last year, the company confirmed it wasn't able to offer certain features on a range of models due to a lack of chips, though things are getting better. Fortunately, at the moment we do not have any North American assembly plants that are on downtime due to the global shortage of semiconductors, a spokesperson for the Detroit-based automaker told Roadshow. Second shifts have just resumed at its assembly plants in Fairfax, Kansas, home of the Chevy Malibu and Cadillac XT4, and Ramos Eras, Mexico, where the Chevy Blazer and Equinox SUVs are built. Overall vehicle production was dramatically reduced in 2021 because of the chip shortage. 2021 Jeep Compass According to Cars.com, one of the cars interested buyers can still find with relative ease is the 2021 Jeep Compass. This option from Jeep is great for many reasons. It's reliable, it's stylish, and it's a general vehicle, which means it can be used in many circumstances. This Jeep is powered by an inline 4 2.4 liter engine. It's a 9 speed automatic that can achieve a horsepower of 180 at 6,400 revolutions per minute and a torque of 175 pounds to foot at 3,900 revolutions per minute. This car has a single overhead cam. This for sure will not be the fastest ride you find on the car lot, even with the chip shortage. According to Auto Express. Co. UK, the 2021 Jeep Compass can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in about 9.8 seconds. It also has a top speed of 126 miles per hour. Looking for a fast Jeep? This is not the one for you, but we understand that supplies of other vehicles are limited currently. Being that Jeep has become known for stacking their vehicles with features, it's no surprise that this one comes with all you'll ever need. It has six speakers, all the safety features required to keep you and your loved ones out of harm's way, and it also comes with six months of satellite radio. 2021 Nissan Altima For those who are looking for a new midsize sedan during the current chip shortage, you may be in luck. The 2021 Nissan Altima is one of the cars that you will still likely find in stock at many car lots. This is a great thing because the Altima has always been a real winner. This version of the car comes standard with a 2.5-liter inline-four engine. According to Edmunds. Com, it produces up to 188 horsepower at 6,000 revolutions per minute and a torque of 180 pounds to foot at 3,000 revolutions per minute. Not only is this car pretty powerful for its type, but it is also fuel efficient. It is estimated to get 28 miles per gallon in the city and 39 on the highway. Both numbers are impressive, especially with the uncertainty of fuel prices in today's time. In terms of speeds, the Altima is also impressive. It may not compete with a sports car, but it's still pretty fast. According to Mike Smith Nissan. Com, the 2021 Altima can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in only 7.4 seconds. 
It has a top speed of 119 miles per hour. 2021 Ram 1500 Classic. If you're in the market for a truck, all hope is not lost. There are a few options out there that are still plentiful on car lots. One of them is the 2021 Ram 1500 Classic. This truck is a favorite from Ram because it truly gets the job done. This means that not only is it a beast to be reckoned with on the road, but it's also stylish in a classic way, as the name suggests. It's a really awesome truck, and we're glad it can be easily found for people who need more room and the ability to tow items. This option from Ram is powered by a 5.7-liter V8 engine. The transmission is 8-speed, and this machine has a max of 395 horsepower at 5,600 revolutions per minute. It has a max torque of 410 pounds to foot at 3,950 revolutions per minute. What did auto manufacturers do to overcome this crisis? Before the serious effects of the chip shortage, automotive manufacturers are forced to find new directions. Manufacturers have increased control over their supply chains, as they have to find ways to move production closer or, in some cases, produce on their own. Vehicle manufacturers have begun to review their outsourcing strategy to ensure the stability and reliability of the supply chain. The semiconductor shortage affects the output of millions of vehicles that are planned for production. But the crisis has also spurred extensive collaboration across industries, with automotive and technology leaders now working together to tackle challenges and introduce new products, especially as cars gradually have more automatic features. We can take the example of two major auto manufacturers, Ford and GM. Ford and GM have announced a partnership with semiconductor manufacturers to develop and produce chips for cars. Ford said it has reached a strategic agreement with global foundries to develop the chip and eventually co-manufacture it in the US. The goal is to cooperate with global foundries to increase the short-term chip supply and possibly manufacture the chips later on. The company says designing its own chips could improve some car features, thereby helping Ford avoid chip shortages in the future. Similarly, GM said it is strengthening relationships with a number of famous brands in the semiconductor industry including Qualcomm and NXP Semiconductors, and also has agreements to co-develop and manufacture chips. Finding the things we need has become increasingly more difficult since early 2020. This has impacted every industry, and the chip shortage is only one way the auto world has felt it. These are only a few of the vehicles that you can easily find with the state of the world today, and we can only hope things improve in the coming months and automakers can continue business as usual. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.